Hi everyone, how are you? I have another repair video for you today. So I got this doll in the mail last week from a customer of mine on Etsy. And she says that she bought this custom blight second hand and has not been able to get the iMac to work. So that's a typical story that we see. So we're going to open her up together, take a look at what's going on, and see if we can fix her up. She came packaged super cute. Oh, she's very cute. As I always say when we get these repairs, it's so much fun seeing other people's work without having to actually buy the doll. This reroute is adorable. Very, very soft. I love her little braids that are kind of coming undone, so I might fix her braids up after. So she's really cute. She's not signed, so I'm not sure who the artist is. Her cute eyelid art. So I'm not feeling it move, so let's go ahead and take her head apart. We'll see what's going on. First looking at her, she's got those large glass eyes that are sticking out a lot. I suspect that's the problem because you can see that they are not turning through there very well. So I think as what I typically do um, when this looks like it's a situation is let the customer know that that's what I suspect and that we should take them out and try um, like these blue ones are really sticking up way too much uh, and so maybe trying some resin ones these ones look like they're probably okay but these blue ones are really sticking up uh, trying some resin and seeing if that solves the problem. So as I have said multiple times, these glass eyes, when you have eyes sticking so far out, they cause problems. So I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna maybe try to take those out and try first, because it looks like out of all of them, those blue ones are the worst, except this one's sticking really far out too. So I wanna check with her and see if she's willing to change them potentially to resin or at least um, have them removed. I don't know if they're glued in. Um, I'm curious how artists who complete the dolls um, get them to function before they send them off or how that really works because it makes no sense to me. So I'm gonna set her aside, talk with her owner, and we'll come back and see if we can find that solution. Okay everyone, so I talked to the client and she said to go ahead and remove the eyes that are in there to um, determine if that's the problem. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna try to leave her still attached to her back plate, but we'll see how complicated it is. Um, I know that I've talked about this before, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but getting glass eyes out can be complicated, especially if they've been glued. So hopefully we're not gonna have any problems getting them out. I'm going to try um, first by using like a needle or a, a pin. If that doesn't work, then I will be using um, an X-Acto knife or a scalpel. The problem with removing glass eyes, if they're hard to get out, is you can damage them very easily um, just by trying to get them out. So I'm gonna do my best not to. Sometimes they come out perfectly fine so let's hope 
So I'm going to take out the two pairs that seem to be sticking out the most and we'll go from there. Um, and again, I'm going to try not to take the mech out at this point, but we may have to. So let's just try. So I got the two pairs out pretty easily that were sticking up the farthest um, without really any damage. So I'm going to try to use the mech and we'll see if they're turning. Otherwise there is one more pair that's sticking out quite a lot that we might have to remove. And it's that pair. So like that pair is coming out too. The blue pair, this blue pair seems to be fine. Um, this pair is going to come out also. And you want to be careful, it's not just damaging the eye, but damaging the white part. So I try to kind of do in a section that's not going to be seen as much and try to figure out where I can get the pin in without hurting the eyeball too much either. You don't want a lot of pry marks um, in there. These push pins seem to work the best because you can push them down in there and pry, although the needle is a little firmer. All right, so that pair is out. Now, the customer said she's got plenty of eyes um, to replace these if this is the problem. Um, so I'm not gonna send any eyes with her, but I'm gonna probably put a pair of mine in just to make sure that she's working with other eyes in. So it looks like it's still sticking, but sometimes it's hard to tell when the doll is not put together. So I'm going to close up her faceplate, make sure it's firm, and then let's try. Seems like it's stuck on that one, and looks like the T-bar is not turning over. eyes up here I'm gonna stick in and pull it around again and let's see if we can see anything why this is happening I may have to um, take her back plate off it's kind of hard to troubleshoot with the back plate in the way and I was hoping we wouldn't have to go that far I was hoping it was just the eyes but it looks like we have something else going on on one one turn. That 
one. So it's looking like it's that part right there that we've had problems with before. And what I've done in the past is just replace that. So we're gonna have to take it apart and do new strings. So let's cut her off. Um, we'll cut her strings off and we'll replace those. Because we're gonna have to take the mech out. So it's this part right here. There's this little wheel um, that occasionally it doesn't it doesn't hit on that um, it slips off of it I don't know if you can see it so look right there at that little lever um, it's slipping off of the part where it's supposed to catch to turn it um, so typically or at least at this point I haven't found a good solution for repairing a mech that has that issue um, but because I have lots of replacement parts, you can usually find one that will work. So I'm going to look and see what I have here, and we're going to replace just that ring and see if we can get the mech back working. So I will be right back. Okay, everyone, we're back with this doll, and I'm really excited because I think I found the solution um, to the problem with that piece down in there not hooking. So... I suspect that when the dolls have these very heavy glass eye chips in them, um, the continuously pulling and pulling hard on the strings to try and get the eyes to turn is bending um, that little piece inside of there, bending it enough that it's making it um, not catch on one of the, the hooks. So what I've done is I have put a rubber band in there. It's not ideal. I don't know if it will eventually need to be replaced from continuous rubbing. I don't know how it's gonna work well with strings um, attached. It's working fine um, by doing it by hand, but I think that getting some kind of maybe washer, so basically what's happened is I have Put a rubber band down in there so that the little bar is now pushed farther to the left so that it will catch and stop slipping off. I'm not positive if that's going to be the solution, but I'm really hoping that it is because I've seen this problem now a couple of times. So what we're going to do right now is put the strings on and put her back together and see if she works. And hopefully she will. Um, it, it will be a little bit harder to turn them, I suspect, because the rubber band is causing friction. Um, but I'm hoping that it will at least function. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get her strings put back on and let's see if she works. Well, one of her eye chips popped out. Not really sure why that happened. And her eyelashes seem to be going down in there. I don't really know why that is. So they are turning. I can feel the rubber band a little bit in there. Um, so what I'm finding is on, on the, the string that changes them, you pull it like normal. The string to reset them needs to be pulled down and they're turning just fine. I don't know why her eyelashes are going down under there, um, 
but that could be the way the mech was made or altered. I didn't alter anything else with the mech. So that's exciting that it's working. She may have to put different eyes in still though. Um, I'm gonna try to put this blue one back in and I don't know why it came out. So that's exciting. I'm very excited to find a solution to that. Um, so let's put her all the way back together and make sure she's still working with all her parts together. But let's put her on a pair of eyes first that are not blank. First, we need to put her hair on. And it doesn't look like the screw that is good for the hair is um, this one. So I'm gonna go get a replacement screw for that. The hair screw, the scalp screw should have this little ridge to hold it on, um, not like these little tiny ones. So let's replace it with one of those. And when doing the scalp, I know I've talked about this, I always put the screw in a little bit first, just a couple of turns, just so that it stays there as you're getting the hair on. I like to get both strings through that same hole to protect them from breaking, but sometimes they don't want to go through there. Oh, there's her hair screw. So it was in there, I just didn't see it. It probably was stuck in her gorgeous hair. So, okay, let's make sure everything is working before we put her beads on or her screws in. And it looks like it's good, although I just, oh, that was probably an eye chip. I don't know why the eye chips are falling out. Um, it's fallen out. So we'll get that eye chip out of there and we will send it to her mom and her mom can decide if she wants to glue it in or what she wants to do. But the mech is now working. I'm gonna go ahead and send her with this pair of chips of mine. Um, if she wants to leave them in, she can. We can see that glass chip in there. Let me see if I can get it out without taking her head apart. Um, let me grab the tweezer. All right, so we're gonna send her mom back the chips that uh, we took out and she can play around with changing them if she wants. Um, and we'll put her beads back on and she's done. So I wanna see if I can show you more clearly what I did. So let me grab a mech um, that hasn't been taken apart. So I hope this will be clear what I'm talking about um, and how I did this. So the first thing is you have to take off um, the eyeballs out of the lids and pull off the eyeballs. Um, and so the little part that's having the problem is on what's called the C-bar, which is this bar. And it's this little, um, these two little latches right there, that's what as they go around they have to hook onto here to make the eyes rotate. If these get bent from pulling too hard, this is my suspicion, these are getting bent from pulling so hard on this um, potentially to change eyes that are too heavy or glass, they're getting bent and so they're, they're slipping off of this. So when you're trying to pull it, 
it's not catching on here in order to rotate the eye, it's slipping off. So what I did was I added, um, so when you put these back together, I added a rubber band between this part and that little piece with the levers on the C-bar. And so it sort of pushed those little levers closer to the thing that they need to latch on so that they would stop slipping off. I hope that makes sense what I'm saying. I just wrapped a clear rubber band, a really small, like one of these clear rubber bands around it, and it pushed it over. Um, I think a washer, some kind of small washer would work better. Um, I just didn't have one. And um, I think the rubber band will work for now. If it becomes an issue or the rubber band breaks or it starts doing it again, we might have to replace the rubber band or find something like a washer um, to put on there. But this is an issue that I see quite frequently. And so I'm kind of excited that this could potentially be the solution to the problem because um, it's a pretty quick fix and you don't have to change the mech. So as you can see, when it rotates around that little piece, being pushed closer is all I did. So it worked, um, and that's another problem solved with iMech. So thanks as always for watching. Um, if you have problems with a mech, you want me to help you troubleshoot or fix it, check out the listing in my Etsy shop for services. Um, otherwise, hit me up with a message and I'll do my best to point you in the direction of a resource to help you fix your doll. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe and thanks as always. See you later, bye.